Actually, I've got a boyfriend who vlogs too, because he just reminded me I didn't tell you where I'm going. Um, I'm going to Peru. I'm going to do the Inca Trail, which is climbing to Machu Picchu. And he's on the other end going, he'll tell me what to say. Yeah, love you. Bye. Now we're in uh, Madrid, and uh, we've got now a 12-hour flight to uh, Lima, Peru. It was two hours from uh, London to here. And now another 12. First thing we find. But it likes Lego. My boyfriend will be proud. Lego. And now we're in good no, we're in Lima. Lima. Now we're in Lima and we've got another two hour flight until uh, we get to Cusco. And then we get there like in the morning, so we've got the whole day to go play and sleep. Um, and then we start trek in two days, and then, yeah, I'm tired. You can't see it, but we're in Cusco and it's really pretty. I'm doing a video every single oh, day. I'm yeah. trying because I've got no battery. But yeah, we're in, we're in Cusco and we're going to go to the hostel and now I'm going to sleep and then tomorrow we'll actually do exciting things. And so pretty. We're now at the hostel and we've just literally been waiting here until we have a meeting and then we have lunch. I'm just yeah. doing Yeah, doing video diary and we're all literally all of us in yellow. Shut up, I'm Oh she's not, she's the cool kid. She's not in yellow. Um and then we're just gonna sit here for two days. I've already explained that, I can't be bothered. Anyway. stuff and it's all like start like um celebrating the summer solstice and yeah. things and we uh, kind of solstice. seeing something quite winter which oh, I was wrong. And uh <laughs> there that that's something weird. Probably can't see it but it's like a parade thing and it's really cool. <laughs> There's another one coming out now. In the How I Met Your Mother episode when they have a car as an alarm. People who've watched it will know. And this is the square at night time and this is where I'm going to end this very long vlog of travelling and wandering around Cusco. Oh, look how pretty. And they're still parading, they're still going round and round with their huge things. Um, uh, next time I'll probably vlog is the first day of Trek, so see you then. Bye. market and uh, there's just tons of like fruit places where you can just buy smoothies and that's what Kate's getting at the moment. She's getting a pineapple and like strawberry one or something. But it's amazing we're gonna wander around there's all these things behind me like it's really cool. But yeah, I'm just wandering around and having some fun in Cusco. It's not bad I like pineapple juice. It is so tasty like mm. I'm just gonna take a moment and just show you where we are. We just climbed to um it's good I can't remember the name, I'll remember the name, but here we are. Welcome to the Cusco! Look at 
literally a city surrounded by mountains and it's just amazing and the square down there where we were yesterday and some of the group that we went with has gone to go find Jesus because there's a big Jesus at the top of a mountain but we have no idea where and we won't be able to find it but it's amazing I like this girl Lama! Okay. Lovely, lovely, yummy food. from us and then we torture it for a little bit. <laughs> Just casually watching the uh, England match while we're in Peru. That's what we do. literally in the front of a glacier. Imagine two big massive mountain ranges and it's going to be just in front of your face. Anyway, the campsite scenario is spectacular. All around the mountain. The next day, day number two of the hike, that's the day after tomorrow. We'll start early, very early, after a coca tea, after a good breakfast. we we'll have to climb from 3,900 up to 4,600 meters. That's a big day. You get to the mountain pass pretty much at 10, 10, 30 a.m. If it's a clearer day than today, or than yesterday, it's going to be amazing. Because you will see two big mountain ranges and all these glaciers. Salcanta is one of the most amazing mountains all around. And it was the most important mountain worship from Machu Picchu. So the day number three of the hike, you're just going down from 3,900 meters to 2,800. Pretty much 1,000 transition of this, uh, uh, of this uh, biodiversity we have in Peru. And you will see pretty much the drop to the eastern slopes of the Andes. The next day you will start to walk up and down, up and down to single track, in the middle of the forest, up and down, up and down, and you go from 2,800 to 1,900 meters more or less. Technically a drop, but you will sweat a lot. Because it's many up, many down, a couple of waterfalls, very beautiful. Yeah, day number five, it's a little bit different. So it's again a climb, it's only 600 meters climbing, so we're just climbing an Inca trail from Lukmabamba up to a place called Tayahmarca. Imagine that you can see from an Inca site through a doorway, much picture, right in front of the face. And if you're lucky on a clear day, the glaciers around and how the forest is making the whole scenario amazing. You go down to the hydroelectric and you have to walk more. This day is very challenging. So you will arrive to a place called Machu Picchu and you will come just at the base of this site. The next day you are starting up very early after breakfast, after chilling out in town. You just go up, enjoy the whole Inca site and you can have free time in the afternoon for your own.
woke up at like 6 in the morning and went on our way head to Charlie. Hey Charlie. <laughs> and now we're on our way to Flat Track. I could spend my life in the street surrender. I could stay on this moment forever. Every moment spent with you is a moment I First day, we're kind of going up here, pretty much from down there. And we're coming up, and yeah, it's a bit hard at the moment because it's a bit hot, and the altitude you can definitely kind of feel it. Oh, there's a big bird up there. Distraction. You can definitely feel kind of the less air and how hard it is to breathe, but it's cool and it looks really pretty. I mean, we're a little bit further. You're connected by a chain, so I won't drop you because. Knowing me, I'll drop every single camera that I own. Um, oh, if you, I've been taking tons of photos with this camera, cause, uh, and I'll probably end up putting them in the video to kind of bridge the gaps between my very little vlogging. But at the moment, we're in Inca, at an Inca aqueduct. This is really cool. <laughs> yeah, I've just been checking for about an hour, maybe, and it's a really odd angle. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to keep going. I'm enjoying it. It's good. <laughs> Welcome to our home. This is where we're camping for the first night, and uh, we've got three-man tent, and I'm sharing with lovely James and Justin, who's in there uh, reading. Lovely. Um, I still don't feel like I'm in Peru, which is weird. Oh, it's just amazing. I don't see. I've never seen snow-capped mountains like that before, so. I'm kind of blown away. Do you realise how much recording I've actually done? I've filled up a whole four gig um, thing. So I'll do quick vlogs of the trekking because it's pretty much going to be the same thing. But I'll show you lots of pictures of what I take pictures of because I've got my big camera. But yeah, it's fun. I'm enjoying it. It's, I'm not dead yet, which is always good. Piss out. Yeah, yeah it was fun. No, it was brilliant. <laughs> That's really fun. <laughs> we, did, we did yoga last year. Yummy porridge for breakfast. Like, right. And we did yoga. Jam bread, like, jam bread. bread. <laughs> it's really blue for some reason, but sort of getting back to the porridge right. like in like Borneo. We and oh, we had French we had toast as well. Out, some French toast. And we went to the dog. First camera gone. Oh, first camera. First river gone, and I didn't drop my camera. Aren't you proud? Um, today's uh, the climb where we go the highest, which is 4,000 something, which is insane because back at home we're at seven, seven meters. Um, Today we're at like 3,700, or oh, that was where we were at camp. And you can like really feel the difference in the altitude. Just make sure out of breath. But yeah, let's get tricky. My camera's not working because of the cold and probably the altitude. So I'll show you this on video. Oh, just fell over. I don't think I'm going to get used to walking alongside all these mountains. It's amazing. From darkness to sunshine. We're going to be boiling hot now instead of freezing cold. Ah. We've come so like high. It's insane how like the um, altitude kind of affects you and stuff. And we so high, we're actually going to be next to snow soon. Uh, even though it's like baking hot and I'm like dying. But it's fun! We're enjoying I'm ourselves. Dying. I'm dying! <laughs> I'm dying! Real Although we're dying, we're still enjoying ourselves. And um, the cloud is coming to a us. You probably can't see that. I'm tired. Well, we're resting again and we've been resting for a while, that's why I'm, so I'm not out of breath as I have been. Um, so I'll show you this. That's a pretty mountain. Yes. Not bad. Um, at the moment we're at 4,300 metres and the highest point we get to is 4,600. I lied earlier. So, 
a lot more climbing to do, but we're nearly there. We've got a little bit left until the highest point, and then after that, it's just downhill, hopefully. So, yeah. Oh, yes, that means we made it right to the top. This is the highest I don't, I, I'll think I'll ever be, unless I do like a mountain or something, but it's the highest I've ever been so far, and it's insane. Oh, that was fun. It's hard, but I'm so happy we've done it, and I'm just going to walk this way so I can hopefully show you. You know, I can't see it, but I got to photos of how high we really are, just looking at those mountains. I'm so proud of all of us. Amazing. Look, ponies. Bye. I didn't vlog when we got into camp yesterday, which is my fault. I should have, but uh, basically this is camp in the morning. It gets freezing cold. It's so cold that we've got ice. You can't see that. We've got ice on our tent and frost. It's weird because it's so freezing. And then once you get in the sun, it gets so hot that you're like needing shorts and t-shirts. And right now I've got like three jumpers on. So yeah, I'm going to go pee and then get ready for trekking today. Here's warming up 101 from a whole load of people who just don't care. <laughs> We need some music. probably can't see but there's alpacas there. I'll show you a photo but there's just some alpacas chilling by that big mountain. It's a little bit different from yesterday's vlogging. Um, vlogging? Walking. We're kind of just going downhill on a dirt track. I keep falling over. Um, but there's still mountains and pretty things to look at. Slash like Borneo. crossing a landslide which is a really uh, massive drop. Um, reminds me a lot of I keep saying Borneo. It reminds me a lot of Borneo because it's kind of rainforesty kind of trekking and it's super hot but I'm enjoying it. Yeah. Welcome to Camp Three. Oh I don't know who I'm asking there's no one there. <laughs> Ask the pony. Um I think it's Camp Three um, and we're just doing it. Oh there's the baby chicken Definitely getting distracted. Um, that's my tent, and there's a whole load of ponies just chilling out around us. Um, so there was an easy trek, pretty much, just kind of standard, going pretty much downhill. We've come really far down now, and you can tell with the atmosphere and, and climate, climate, altitude. This one, dogs. Um, and yeah, so we're just going to sit. We got here quite early. We got here at two, so we're just going to sit here and do nothing. And we, oh, we could all have showers today, so we're all. Um, standing under a very cold tap, but embracing the cleanness. <laughs> Maybe. Well, yeah, it kind of goes down. Walking along. Sitting in a song. Um, day six. No, wait. It's day four. I think it's day four of track. Day six overall. And we're just kind of. It's a lot more like warmer today. And yeah, we're just doing not um going along a river at the moment. It's so jungly. I like the jungle. Beer or wine at 18. That's cool. There's a pretty. We're just the rocks kind of in the way, but there's an amazing. The rocks kind of in the way, but there's amazing um waterfall just going past. It's like the, we've gone through everything so far, like snow mountains to rainforest. I love Peru. I don't remember what I last vlogged yesterday, but um, but uh, we got into camp and it was a really long walk, and I'm saving as much battery as I can because um, 
I want to try and get you to match Pichu. So um, this is camp, and we're all sitting up, and um, we're having breakfast now. And now it's a really long day today. We're trekking from like <laughs> it's got a funny look. Um, uh, we're trekking from um, it's like six o'clock now, and we're hoping to get there back to camp at five. So it's a long day. Bye. We're just walking through a coffee plantation, and I think we're on the actual Inca Trail today. Which is pretty cool. And uh, it's going to be a long day. The sun's coming out. It's going to be fun. Right there. And we've got to get from here all the way over there in a day. But yeah, we've done all the uphill. If you, he's just borrowed my lens, <laughs> so he's playing with it. Um, we just uh, done all my, our, up, our uphill today, and now we're going downhill. That's how we're getting there for tomorrow. Hey, we're literally oh, just running down this mountain to cut, try and get to Machu Picchu. And uh, whenever we get to a clearing like that, we can see Machu Picchu getting closer and closer, which is really awesome. Oh, gonna fall over. We've got down to the river, and now we're going on the right side of Machu Picchu, and it's amazing. Oh, I found it so gay, but it's amazing. I'm so excited. Bridges. And now we're just walking along a train track, which is nice because it's flat. And um, yeah, we'll get to our last campsite before Machu Picchu tomorrow. It's a long day. It's good. I like it. You probably can't see me, I just got the nice spotlight of my torch. <gasps> Look into the light. Anyway, um I forgot <laughs> I forgot to vlog. Um we went out for dinner and these people they're they're laughing at me now. I don't even know who these people are, they just came into my tent. <laughs> Hi. Um and and we had food in town which, or town it was really nice um food. I can't remember the name, it's called like something really cool. I'll probably try and tell you tomorrow. I've forgotten the name. No, I meant the ta name of the town. Oh. I had beef, it was tasty. Um, and we're off to Machu Picchu tomorrow. So excited. It was such a long day today, but it was worth it because it's Machu Picchu tomorrow. And we're waking up at like stupid o'clock in the morning to um, see the uh, sunrise. And I've washed my hair, so it's all a bit funny. See you in the morning. We woke up at 4 o'clock this morning and trekked up thousands of steps and we got to the top of Machu Picchu which was where we are now, we've just got to get through the actual flight and we beat the bus. There was about half of us that chose to walk all the way because we want to trek the whole way um, and we did and I'm knackered but we've now got a tour and I'm talking to my camera. <laughs> Is it on my face? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah good. Um, and yeah, and he's going to give us a tour guide, uh, so it's going to be good. Alright, one more. Uh, a few more steps later, and like seven days worth of check in, we're here. Oh. It looks photoshopped, doesn't it? <laughs> I just can't believe we made it. <laughs> it's amazing. We were the first ones because they're all down there. But um, I don't care because we're here and it's amazing and I keep taking so many photos. I'm going to take about a thousand just today, let alone from here already. <sighs> we made it for the sunrise, so the uh, sun's coming up from over there. We're going on to Machu Picchu. We're here. The most important Inca city happening in exactly the same. We are facing east. We are seeing just how the sun is. And imagine that the shaman was saying, we can't control the sun. We will ask the sun, please don't leave us. Go on the next cycle. So that's the main reason of that spot. We will have more information in that particular place. But just imagine, 600 years ago, the Incas was waiting for this particular ceremony, for exactly the same thing. Welcome to Machu Picchu, guys. Woo. 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 <sighs> this is the whole of Machu Picchu. Okay. I like part of it. We've just been wandering around and having a tour. It's been really interesting. Yeah. Thanks.
came back from Mexico and now we're literally just sitting down, drinking beer and doing nothing until we go back to Cusco. Thing just cut me off. Um, we're going to sit here, eat some food and wait till we go back to Cusco tomorrow and that's the end of the trek. So yeah, I don't know if I'm going to video anymore because it depends how much memory I've got, how much battery. So yeah, it's been a little bit quiet here. Why would you do that? <laughs> We're celebrating. We haven't slept since what four this morning, and it's now about one one o'clock. One o'clock, and we're going to keep going. We're in a chocolate shop and we're just about to learn how to make chocolate and it smells so good in here, it's unbelievable. Um, but this, we, I've done all my extra travel and stuff and I've not vlogged that because it's kind of boring. So yeah, sorry. We're just going around learning some kind of history of chocolate and then we're going to go in there where we're going to have like a workshop and get to make our own chocolate which will be really good and I'm really excited. So yeah, um, chocolate beans. I'll try and tell you as much as I learn if I learn any. I knew this from when I went to Mexico the mines, figured it out or found it. And uh, they drank it spicy and use it kind of as a spice rather than something sweet. Um, cacao was part of Daily May and Live. Stuff like that. Just reading random things I find. And it's, yeah. Just looking. Not just watching it out. But then the Aztecs, once they kind of took over the Mexican land, all of that. Um, they found out about the cacao bean and whatever, and um, that became part of their huge empire of like trade and stuff like that. Actually, this because the Spanish came over, the Spanish found out about it and brought it over to England. Um, England brought it over to Europe, and uh, kind of all kind of grew up, and that's when it kind of became more a sweet thing rather than a kind of sour, kind of herby. It came to the rest of Europe in the 1600s, and it only became available to um, like the masses in like the 1900s. So. <laughs> A very long time where it was just an aristocratic kind of drink and it was not really like a sweet. And then, yeah, and now we have chocolate. Stacey. Healing cocoa beans, and I'm failing where everybody else is finished, and I've still got all of that to do. I'm rubbish. We're crushing the cocoa, we're crushing the cocoa beans. Literally, it's a nice thing. No, that's right, I'm trying to do a video. It's fine. Yeah. The um, also the drink that I was telling you about earlier, the Mayan drink, and it's got uh, it's got the crushed paste of the cocoa stuff with chili and sugar, and it's just so tasty. Making the chocolate for my daddy, so what I'm thinking, or what I've got so far, is crushing up coffee beans, and I might go for chili, and I might go for some uh, raisins. Love you, daddy. <laughs> Thing. I want to call <laughs> I'll stop doing it. <laughs> 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 